So I should pop four right now. Get the frozen shit out here. Bet. And then we start doing this. Holy fucking moly! Oh my god, chat! Look at this damage! Is that, was that good? Was that better? Welcome, YouTube, to my latest build video. Actually, I never do build videos, and this is not my build, by the way. I don't take any credit. I am using a chat members build. We call this the Blubbers build because that's the name of credit goes to the creator of this build, Mr. Blubbers. And if you guys want to see that in action, here we go. This is my third time trying this out. I still don't have every right component. So we want to kind of start firing up my little ice boots here. We got to get into position. Mr. Devour coming in here into play. And then we just start spraying at the kneecaps. I think this is the good distance right here. Just keep spraying, just keep spraying. Kneecaps all the way, you see that uh, damage? Do you see that damage? Oh my lord, I still think I can perfect this clear, but this is the build. You get high amounts of DPS and high amounts of everything. A lot of women will flock to you, trust me bro. If you're playing Haley this way, Blubbers is swimming in puss. E, yeah, I am. Blubbers is a drowning and a TFD puss. Uh -huh, uh huh. And also, watch me open this and get myself a crystallization catalyst. Watch this. Just like this. Bam. Glass. Don't add that to the video. Um, so if you guys are wanting to see this build, so first and foremost, this build does not rely on this. This build does not rely on this that you've seen every other content creator copy paste. This build does not rely on any of this. This build relies a lot on your enduring legacy and just straight up 100% critical hit rate without the need of an Enzo. These are the modules and pretty tanky as well. You don't have to sacrifice a lot of this and that to uh, output uh, DPS. You can still be very, very tanky. As a matter of fact, this build gets all the way up to, uh, on, on me, uh, 14,000 HP and 22,000 defense with a reasonable um, resistance, depending on your components and stuff that you wanna add there. So here are the modules again. Um, obviously you try to max these out. I need a couple more resets to juice this up. You can change a couple of components for different things as well. Maybe you can swap out an iron defense. I believe Blubbers, um, the creator of this build, was telling me that I can swap iron defense out for like immunity, auto immunity or something. Auto immunity. Uh, you could swap those out to get a little bit more mitigation. You can tailor it around how you will mostly want to play. But um, skill cost is one of the important things and skill cooldown. Skill cooldown is very important. But here are some of the other components that Blubbers has shown me for the build. Give me a second while I load this up for you guys. Um, Blubbers attached a note to this and says, you can most likely change these two. Someone said energy collection works with MP region, but I can't confirm. I don't know what to change them to, but I'm thinking auto immunity or maybe a slot in the ice immunity at level one to prevent being frozen. Change to fire, poison, etc. as well. So that is just your descendants modules chat to maybe taller, um, alternate it, change it to better suit your style, whatever you want. Blubbers has also told me that he uses Thunder Cage as a filler weapon. He uses his Thunder Cage as a filler to put general rounds compulsive, expand general rounds, and normal special rounds. Doing this to a throwaway weapon really helps you build more general rounds that would put more rounds into your enduring legacy. So you're not running around with it like a headless chicken trying to collect more rounds during a longer fight. This is probably something that you might want to do. Another thing that you want to do with season inversion um, effects, 
Bleber says that this is important. Arch Peacemaker, when movement speed is 300 or less, which happens with Haley's passive, Arch Peacemaker decreases skill cost by 20% skill effect range minus five percent and fire rate by minus four percent this is good because it decreases your skill cost so you want to get this also by the way to make the build a little bit better make sure you are getting this passive on your stuff this is the enduring legacy build that you might want to opt for when playing um enduring legacy with this haley build with the blubbers haley build i use mental focus and he uses a sh uh, sharp precision shot. If you could get a long spray out, mental, fo uh, mental focus might be better. But if you are constantly being interrupted and it's a tougher fight where you go in and out, maybe sharp precision shot is better. I don't really know. But I wouldn't imagine both of them to be a bigger substantial difference. Pick your, your, your favor here. But the blubber builds that I was sent does have sharp precision shot, just to note. Um, this is how much you will be hitting for as well. So you're always hitting criticals, by the way. It's, I believe, 100% crit hit rate. So you're always going to be hitting this critical hit. He has uh, swapped in some of these screenshots to a piercing light build that he uses. So he uses Enduring Legacy with some piercing light when he fights uh, Gluttony. So this is how much he's damage he's doing with his piercing light, which also is a hundred percent crit hit. By the way, these are his piercing light mods that he um, uses for Haley. So you maybe want to write this down. Now that we have socket changes, I guess you could change impact round uh, to better, so it cannot be read if this triggers somebody. You can change that around. I'm I'm just trying to give you guys the T. Okay, this is not my build again. I would like to reiterate that a million times. This is a Chatter of Minds build who was kind enough to share it with me because, you know, I didn't want to be like all the other girls. I wanted to be different. I wanted to be special. This was his stats. So he goes all the way up to 11K. Is this HP and then defense? That's a lot of defense. I think we changed it for our build. That's why we got 20K instead of 43. Yeah, this was the first screenshot of the build right there. But I think some stuff we changed already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the sh the shot, chat. This is the shot. Blubber's big tip. You should explain the Haley 1 ability. For every stack you proc, you'll do 50% of your firearm damage. So if you do 200k per uh, um, Enduring Legacy shot, you'll actually be doing 300,000 total. Yeah. Okay, let's go try another boss, chat. Let's go try another boss. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go, Chan Heller, um, Hillary. Haley versus um, Dead Brad, the Blubbers build. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, I need to uh, activate this skill, chat, because uh, we get stacks for that skill. We get stacks, and then we activate um, my number two here. Not a poop, by the way. I think I should aim at her chest or something for this. Keep activating that number one, chat. Keep on activating the number one. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. We got over here. And there she is. Just like that, chat. No skill needed. Just the build. The blubbers build. No skill needed. I don't need to read, run around, get a healing orbs. I don't need to do nothing. Easy and peasy. Lemon us go easy. Ah, crap. I probably do. Uh, I, I, you could probably do a lot better than me. I'm not doing a really good job at like showcasing this build. Um, so no hate comments, please. I'm just a simple, um, a simple lady trying to like showcase my chat's builds. Okay. Um, Haley, uh, not using the sniper power is the same. Not using her. I mean, you guys can go ahead and be fucking sheep and copy paste every other content creator's builds if you want to. 
nobody's telling you to play this build, but for the people who want to be a little bit different, why not? Ah, here we go, chat. Make sure you're constantly hitting that one button, by the way, to add 50% more damage to your firearm. Easy. No, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, stop it. Pinche calabaza mierda. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job at displaying this. My M my MP ran out. Ah, I'm dead. Let's go back to Albion. Uh, let's see, chat. Let's try to do a little bit of gluttony in public. Let's see how this goes. Oh, chat, this is not going well. I'm such a scrub, I'll never be blubbers. Ah, oh, shit, I need to activate that. Fuck. Fuck, this isn't going well. What? Hit the wrong button! That looked cool, though. Clip it. Add some cool effects and stuff. No, no, no! Oh my god. No! 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 Wait, what the fuck was that? I thought it was gonna fail. <laughs> hit the- hit the shoulder! No! Dude, if I didn't bring out that gun, we would've won there. That was my mistake. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. I hit the wrong button. Hey, you might be new around here, huh? Well, hold your horses. Before you click off this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe as it does help me grow as a streamer. Now do yourself a favor and do it, mister.